We have a lot of new information that we're bringing you on the suspect in the Michigan State University shooting. He killed three people, injured five others at a shooting at Michigan State University. Well, now we're learning that he actually was legally allowed to have a gun despite being charged in the past with a felony gun crime. Go ahead and share this video out with everybody right now and subscribe and follow me right here. There's a subscribe or follow button where you can follow me because we're going to be updating the story as we learn more. But take a look at your screen. I'll go ahead and show you what we're looking at right here. Take a look at that. This is the suspect. Not going to name him. We don't need to know his name because, you know, he is a horrible, horrible human being. Uh, But we're learning from investigators that the 43-year-old, according to police, he has a history with law enforcement. Now, according to the Michigan Department of Corrections, he was arrested and charged with a felony in June of 2019 for carrying a concealed weapon without a permit. However, he later pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor for possessing a loaded firearm instead. He then served a year and a half on probation and was discharged in May of 2021. So he never did a day in prison at all. So because of that, According to the report at midmichigannow.com, and you can learn more by clicking the link in this video that I have, during his probation, he never submitted a positive drug test, nor were there any issues to note, according to the Michigan Department of Corrections. McCray, he was not a convicted or not convicted of a felony after pleading down to the misdemeanor charge. And in Michigan, that meant he was legally allowed to possess a firearm still. Now, the gun found on him when he was arrested in 2019 was legally registered to him, according to court records. At the time of that 2019 arrest, he told police that he carried the gun for his own safety and that he was attempting to obtain a concealed carry permit. Prior to that arrest, McRae's record showed he had four counts of driving with a suspended driver's license, but uh, it doesn't appear as if anything violent in that case. So the new information that we're learning about the suspect now is that He escaped felony firearm charges due to a plea deal. So if he would have been convicted on that felony firearm charge, then he would not be able to legally have a gun. So he was still legally allowed to have a gun in Michigan. But as we know, even if people who are not legally allowed to have weapons, they still have weapons. Just a tragedy for everybody involved. Go ahead and go to midmichigannow.com to learn more and continue to follow me right here.